Hey guys, a few months ago I showcased a mod called Giant Props, which added 3 giant obstacles to the game that are really rare but drop items when fully destroyed. All of these giant obstacles can only spawn on their own specified floors. They drop some pickups when you bomb them and a guaranteed item after doing it 4 times. However, the mod constantly got updated over time and contains a total of 6 giant obstacles now. Allow me to showcase the 3 new ones that got added after its initial release. Starting with the giant pots. These big boys can be found on the basement, cellar, burning basement and cathedral. Bombing them will drop random coins and keys each time. Bombing it 4 times will fully destroy the pot and reward you with a random item from a special spider seam pool. Mutant spider is just one of the many powerful possible outcomes. But I would argue that even the weaker items in the pool are worth the 4 bombs, especially considering that you also get a good amount of free coins and keys on top. Just like some of the first 3 giant obstacles, the new ones also have a unique way to help you in combat while the room isn't cleared yet. The pot will do so by spawning friendly blue spiders. You can make use of this ability by purposely delaying the end of the fight as long as possible to build up a huge spider army for future rooms, especially in this room layout right here. Speaking of room layouts, there are about 10 to 15 for each giant obstacle on the respective floors. This makes them very rare but also balanced in regard to the rewards. The giant pots can not only appear in chapter 1 but also on the cathedral floor. And they will even have a unique sprite there if you play with the fiend folio mod enabled as well. I think the giant pots are really well balanced. They can provide a good boost in chapter 1, but require 4 bombs to get to the item, which can be hard so early in the run. The second new giant obstacle is the giant bucket. They only appear in chapter 1.5, meaning the downpour and dross floors. Bombing them will drop random pennies each time. The giant buckets can spawn in 3 different versions, empty, water or poop filled. Each variant has different payouts as well as ways to help you in hostile rooms. The empty bucket can appear on both floors but does not do anything to help you in combat. Fully destroying it with 4 bombs will always drop the quarter item. The water filled bucket can only appear on the downpour floor. It will keep spawning friendly leeches to support you in combat as long as the room remains uncleared. Bombing it will release a giant puddle of water which will hurt your enemies but not you. Fully destroying the water filled bucket will always reward you with the leech item. The poop filled bucket on the other hand can only appear on the dross floor. It will support you by spawning friendly dips and drips while enemies are in the current room. This version of the bucket will not release any creep if you bomb it, like the water filled one, but fully destroying it will drop a random item out of its poop scene item pool. Those items are obviously not as exciting as the spider themed rewards of the pot, but I think staying in theme is more important than balancing all of the giant obstacles. And speaking of staying in theme, there is even a room layout on the dross that contains a giant bucket paired with a super rare giant poop from Repentance itself. And maybe you are lucky enough to have it spawn a poop filled bucket that contains the dirty mind item. This will allow you to create your own trusty dip army. The third new giant obstacle is the giant polyp. It can appear on all floors of chapter 4, which are the womb, utero and scarred womb, and also on the corpse floor where it is slightly different. Bombing the chapter 4 giant polyp will always drop some random red heart variants, while also shooting out blood tears in an arc that will only hurt enemies but not you. Fully destroying the polyp with 4 bombs will spawn a random item from its own womb floor themed item pool. These items are the same on all 3 chapter 4 floors. The giant polyp will also constantly shoot out its blood tears while enemies are in the room. However, this is not very effective, especially compared to the pots and buckets. 
There is also this one room on the womb floor where the polyp is paired with three blood donation machines. This allows for instant use of all the red hearts you just got from bombing the polyp. However, as mentioned earlier, the giant polyp can also appear as a slightly different form on the corpse floor. This one will drop rotten hearts instead of red ones. Bombing the corpse polyp will still cause it to shoot out tears in an arc, but this time they are green and will leave creep on the ground that hurts your enemies, but not you. But those are not the only differences. The giant corpse polyp will also drop an item from its own rot based pool to further enforce the corpse theme. Just like the womb polyps, the corpse version will also constantly shoot out its signature projectiles while enemies are present, which helps you clear the room. But as you can see here, the corpse polyp also spawns a small maggot enemy every time it shoots. This makes it the only giant obstacle in the mod that can actually harm you. But let's be honest, those will get one shot anyway and can even die from the green creep as well. The possible rewards will always be worth the additional fighting. This was it for all the new giant obstacles. However, I figured you might also be interested to see if something has changed about the first three additions to the mod. The giant mushroom is the only one with no changes. It still drops its unique consumables and mushroom items when you destroy it while attacking foes in the room with gases that charm or poison them. The giant fool's gold, however, got a bit of a rework to its item pool. The only item that dropped from it before was Midas Touch, which felt a bit boring to be honest. That's why one of the mod's updates changed it to also drop a set of possible mining themed items. The Spelanka Head, Notched X, Remote Detonator, as well as We Need to Go Deeper. The giant skull also got an awesome update. It is now able to appear on the mausoleum floor as well. We had even got a new unique sprite different from chapter 3. I'm not sure if this was added later or if I missed it in my first showcase, but the giant skull will help you in combat by randomly applying fear to enemies nearby. Besides that, the skull didn't change much in the updates, and its insane possible rewards make it remain the most desirable obstacle in the mod. That was it for my showcase of the three new obstacles in the giant props mod. Which one was your favorite and which one do you think could still be added? If you enjoyed this showcase or my content in general, then please consider subscribing. It helps a lot and keeps me motivated. Either way, I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye. He's the number one. Isaac! God's favorite son. His flowing down from